Hey, what is up people? Mr. Bob right here and welcome to a tutorial on how to set up your Elgato Game Catcher HD to your Wii. Yes guys, this is what you really need in order to record your Wii gameplay onto the Elgato. So what you need is of course the capture card. You need the Wii component cables which are already plugged in into my uh, Wii right here which is really nice guys this costs like around 30 bucks guys it's from Rockfish Gaming and it has the Nintendo seal so these are pretty nice guys um, they cost like, around 32 bucks so if you wanted to get some cheaper ones that are good um, you could go check at Best Buy, Walmart, Amazon, or eBay so you could get some cheaper ones. But those, this is what you really need, guys. You need these uh, Wii component cables, alright? Um, if you guys already know from my past capture card, I had these kind of cables, alright? If you remember, I had these Energizer uh, component cables, which gives you the three plugins the PlayStation. All right, the Wii and the Xbox 360. As you can see, these are how they look. Um, the bad thing is that it like it shows up in my TV, but not on the program, which is pretty bad, which I really didn't like. So I had to buy these component cables, of course, which cost 32 bucks. I mean, I tried to go to GameStop, but they were closed on Sunday. I could have waited, but I didn't want to. But these are really nice guys you want to get this ones these are really fancy i think these are like the best ones for the way component cables and then the next thing you need the component adapter which you get from the elgato all right make sure you have these colors right here the red blue green and the audio the red and white a usb for your ca for your capture card and the HDMI to the back of your TV, alright? So right now, let's get started on setting this up. So the first thing, make sure make sure everything's off, guys. There's my Wii, and there's my TV. Make sure to turn everything off, alright? The next thing is get your HDMI, alright? And plug it into the back of the Elgato, alright? Make sure it's like where USB and HDMI out is, alright? If you don't know, on how to plug it into your TV guys all you have to do is plug it to the back of your TV of your HDMI slots there's gonna be depending on what kind of TV you got in an HD TV it could be slot 1 slot 2 but you gotta check from behind guys behind the the TV in order to know what HDMI slot you are in so mine is on slot 1 so right now we're just gonna plug it in alright the next thing your component adapters and your component cables to your Wii. Make sure to plug these in guys and then now you could plug in the the component adapters to your to your component cables. One thing I really like this guys is that they give you like a separation not like these they're like crumpled up but they give you a video right here. I know you cannot see it but they give you video and audio which is pretty nice. They separate it really good. So of course you have to connect them together guys. Blue and blue. Green and green. Come on. And then red and red. Next thing you gotta do is get your audio cables of course. Make sure they're in the right um, plug in or plugged in. Alright, white and white. Red and red. Alright. Once you have that done guys, once you have these all five cables uh, connected next thing you gotta do is get your Elgato and make sure to plug it into the AVN A slash VN alright make sure to plug that in okay it's nice and tight make sure it's nice and tight guys don't make it loose next thing is get your USB cable and then you just gotta put it in the back of your of course Elgato so once you do that guys wait no, i'm trying to connect there come on come on usb come on okay there we go 
Okay, once everything's set up, guys, all right, once everything's set up. Okay, guys, once you have everything set up, like I said before, I'm sorry, but I cropped the video because I did a little bit of mistake on, on what you had to do next. So make sure you have everything plugged in, all the cables and stuff, all right? And what you need to do is plug in your USB onto your laptop or your desktop okay don't turn on anything else all right okay don't turn on anything else once that's plugged in all you need to do is download the software all right download the software first all right I'm gonna show you how to do that if you don't know but I think you should okay guys the next thing you're gonna do is go to your Internet Explorer um, Firefox or Google Chrome whatever you want make sure to go to the website of the game catcher www.gamecatcher.com and you gotta go down here to the very first box download make sure you're gonna download uh, Mac or if you're Windows uh, use Windows alright it could work on Windows 7 or 8 so it's pretty good guys that if you have Windows 8 which is really nice because it's very new uh, once you install everything guys once everything everything is installed next thing you're gonna do is go to game capture uh, program and turn it on or open it mostly um, you can restart it guys if you want to but I don't think it does say that but if it does make sure to restart your computer all right just to make sure everything is working fine okay the next thing you're gonna do is turn on your TV all right, make sure you turn on your TV and make sure your input selection is on HDMI 1, 2, 3, whatever slot you want it to be in. Make sure to put it in your input selection. All right. The next thing you're going to do is go right here to this little device on tool over here to the right hand corner or right not all the way over here, but like this little toolbar. And what you're going to do is go to input you gotta pick other alright on your input uh, for your component you gotta put component alright make sure to click on that one the next thing you gotta do is go to profile and I keep it as standard because that's where I mostly have it in I mean I don't think it's not gonna work at 720 so I just keep it on standard uh, quality you could change it however you want make sure these two are uh, clicked and once you have that guys all you get to click is ok uh, once your TV is where the HDMI is selected on next thing you gonna do is turn on your Wii that's right now I already turned on my Wii right now and let's see if it gets a signal cause sometimes I don't know why there you go guys there's a signal of the of the catcher game and that's how you going to record or capture your games on your Wii so that's how it is guys that is a whole tutorial on how to plug in or capture your gameplay on your Elgato capture card alright guys and if there's any question guys if there's any questions like I have a black screen on my computer or on my TV make sure your cables are selected good and knowing where the input selection are all right make sure to do that so nothing happens so like I said make sure to plug everything from the Elgato make sure to plug in your HDMI your cables your adapter cable and your USB first make sure everything's turned off and of course over here guys make sure your component or your input device is other your input component your input for your component cables make sure it's on component profile I keep it as standard on quality make sure you can put on however you want good better or best make sure these are these two check boxes are clicked and all you gotta do is press ok and of course mine's already been done and that's it guys that's the whole tutorial so make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch some more maybe gameplay of the Elgato game catcher HD alright guys 
and also share it around everyone make sure yeah make sure to just send it around everyone guys because I only see like about two people that have done this like really good but doesn't have a lot of views I don't know why because mostly a lot of people have the Wii U so mostly a lot of people don't have the Wii I mean they have the Wii but they don't use it anymore but that's how you capture it guys and one thing's for sure I forgot to mention as you can see my capture card is a little bit like three seconds behind that's how it is guys so you're gonna go over here to Wii options it's a little bit slow guys because the capture card is like three seconds behind so you're gonna go right here to this Wii settings you're gonna click on that I forgot to mention this guys uh, I should have done this but make sure your screen right here your screen click on that you gotta click on TV resolution and you gotta make sure you have an HD TV 480p alright make sure you have that alright select it and you're gonna press confirm um, widescreen of course make sure it's on 16 by 9 and everything should be done by there guys nothing more and that's how it is guys that's how you capture but that's how you gotta record your Wii on your Elgato game catcher alright guys if you have any more questions you just have to ask me down in the comments below and there's anything problems with it or something little mistakes or something you told me that is out of my question or I don't even know what I'll try to find out as, as, as soon as I can that's all you need to do is just like hey can you help me out like oh yeah sure I will so that is it guys that is the whole tutorial of the Wii and I'll see you soon, alright? Keep on playing and getting for life, guys. See you later.